Alrighty, hello and welcome back. We are gonna be getting right into it here. Alright. So, oh, I guess I should show you the team real quick. We popped up from uh, hopeful to contender. It is storming outside. I'm really hoping I don't lose power. Alright. We got some contracts offered to some of the guys that wanted them. And I offered one contract to a guy that didn't because he's one of... The, actually, he's my starting goalie in the NHL. His contract's up this season. He's a 79 right now. Try to get him for two more years. So, forward line's looking pretty decent. Only 170. Or one in the 70s. He's almost an 80. Don't like that uh, I can't get... Like I've tried... Before I started recording this, I tried flipping my lines all around. And if I do this... That's about as much of a difference as I can make. Other than that... I can't really... Oh, actually, did I really not try that, like, cereal? Let's do that, because then we're going to have three lines at plus one. And then this was as good as I could get the defense as well. Probably going to have to get rid of Truba here pretty soon. One reason why I love this guy. He is perfect on the third pair. There's going to be a point though where he his overall outgrows the third pairing. And I'm really worried about that. Except for the fact that uh, he'll fit right on the first line, too, apparently. Alright, that works. Good, good. That would give both lines plus three, but then that metal pairing is negative one. Ugh. See, it's just like... You just gotta find the right guys oh go to the goalies real quick it's the starter and the backup I've been making it to the playoffs with these 70 overall goalies making it like second round I think third round too. the one year the first year I had them both I think we went to the third round if I'm not mistaken but anyways, I don't know if I, I think I got two scratched guys. They're both defensemen. Wow. I need a forward. AHL, I got a bunch of scratch guys. What I do at the end of the season in between like when I would do free agencies, if I'm not picking anyone up in free agency, I usually don't record anything. I'll just go through, do all of my contracts and whatnot, and trade away what guys I need to trade away, call it good. But... That's the AHL. Um, the goalie. Him. I want him starting. 
That is my, uh... Oh, he's a 73 now, too. Sick. Alright. I drafted this guy. He was a 68. At the end of the last season, he was a 71. Now he's a 73. I'm hoping by the start of the 25-26 season, I'm hoping he's going to be at least an 80 overall. Alright, so what we are going to do is finally start our sim six minutes later. Holy cow. I've already pretty much done everything, but look at the guys in the draft, so I'll probably just uh, clip that out of the video. Oh, too far. I'll go to about there. <laughs> I love it whenever I trade these dudes away and then <laughs> as soon as the season starts or before the season even starts I see all the guys I traded away getting traded to other teams again it's pretty funny at least to me okay good so don't gotta worry about my goalie don't gotta worry about uh, the defenseman there don't gotta worry about Perfect. Perfect. I took him, he only wanted a one year contract, but I took him to the last year of my contract will be his last RFA season. So, I, I felt bad, like, I want to make sure he still wants to be on the team by then. And even if he doesn't, he'll still probably end up being on the team. He fits in pretty good. He's a center, too, but his face-offs are only in 81, so he's usually on the wing. I don't want to drop him all the way down to the third and fourth line. I mean, I could since he's only in 85 right now, but I'm hoping after this season of him playing on the first line, he's going to bounce up to hopefully 87, maybe 88, maybe by the start of the next season, 88. That would be preferable. I'm hoping that my uh, starter now, by the time my uh, Shugo or whatever his name is, my elite in the minors, uh, that I switch to the starting role, I'm hoping that they're both, you know, mid-80s at the same time. That would be perfect. Because I would like to have the, the end. <laughs> I'd like to have the elite goalie. Um, be a backup for one season before he starts. It seems like every time I've done that, it seems like it just works out better. Because usually after that first season, their overall bounces up and they surpass the other goalie, and then you can either keep the original starter as a backup or trade him away and bring someone else up. All right, yeah, we're looking good. kind of questioning now i think i've seen two scouts in usa central but we'll wait till we see the draft pop up there's gonna be two that i have to go into during this video oh here's the first i was hoping we were gonna win that game There's still a chance for you to... Those C minuses could possibly become B minuses. 
I haven't seen the massive jumps like I used to back in 19 and it was more 18 than 19 actually. 19 it kind of toned down a little bit. You would still get jumps but it usually only by one uh, grade up. So like if it's a C minus it could possibly be a B minus. However in like 18 it could be a C minus like a uh, two bar and then you fully scout them and it's like a B. B plus. Like, this guy theoretically could end up with, like, all A minuses. I think it's mostly going to be maybe a couple A's. Maybe, maybe two A's. The rest will probably be all be B's. This draft does not, this first round does not look as good as the last one. The last one was pretty stacked. This one, not so much. Already up here, dude's got to be definitely elite and possibly franchise. Eh, maybe not franchise. Usually the franchise, the good franchises, they're usually like top 20. I've seen two actually good franchise goalies. And I had one on... <laughs> One of my Leafs franchises from last season. I had him forever. Oh, man. I drafted him early. It was like the third. I'm cutting all this out. Why am I even talking? Uh, maybe I'll leave it in. It's uh, it was like the third draft in. He was all A pluses. He was going. He was supposed to go 12th overall. Ended up going, some other team picked him at 8th, so I restarted the draft. Got the 6th overall pick and picked him at 6th. And that was my uh, franchise goalie that was a... I want to say he got up to 96. I, I really want to say 97, but I know 96 for sure. Okay. There was a goalie I seen in there that looks really good. It looks like he could possibly have all A's. Um, I don't know if how much I don't know if I cut all that out or not, but uh, looks like he's gonna be pretty good. Um, possibly a franchise goalie. Possibly. It says elite medium. It's at one bar. 
more than likely it's probably just an elite but there is that chance he could be a franchise I could scout him once at his potential and then he could jump up to like a two bar or three bar elite high and then scout him again and boom franchise I think that my good elite goalie that I have right now in the minors, I think he could possibly end up being a franchise. It says he's elite now, but I have seen elite goalies, when they make a jump, turn into franchises. And I've also seen starting goalies, like the starters, I've seen those turn into elites. I've seen backups turn into starters. fringe starters into uh actually i don't know if i've seen a fringe starter turn into anything they usually just stay fringe starter i mean they might go up like fringe starter low medium high like they might flip in between those but i don't think i've ever actually seen one actually progress beyond or below that maybe like way on in their career they they drop or something but i don't know I've never actually kept a goalie and had him retire with my team. Usually once they get about 35, 36, I try to get rid of them because sometime between 34 to 38, there's usually just one season where all of a sudden they go from being a superstar and then they're like, boom, 77 overall. And you're like, oh my God, I just lost all that value. I couldn't tell you how many times that happened to me with uh, Flurry in the Golden Knights. It's so depressing. We got some upgrading to do. Let's uh, quickly knock that out. Mm. Wow, almost a million. Come on now. Come on back, yard. Wow, everything needs to be repaired. store I got 540,000 I might if I catch it in the early 70s I might be able to upgrade like maybe maybe three things or repair three things I should say da, 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 da. let's go right there here we go view draft class Dude looks like he's gonna be pretty good. Skating will probably be a B minus. Wow. Okay. I'm glad. <laughs> Cause now it looks like there's some bangers there early on. Even not bad guys out here. Jeez. Holy cow. Oh, I already hit that guy. Whoops.
Don't tell me that's the goal. Don't tell me that's the one I want. Okay, good. Yes. This is the goalie I was referring to. Okay. So we are going to scout your potential. I think I know what's going on whenever like it doesn't show me the scout player on this screen. I think that means the guys are fully scouted out now. And like if I add more guys that's taking away from what they're already scouting. I think that's what's going on. Oh, it's a banger. Continue scouting that guy. He looks junk. A set of junk junk in the trunk. Ah, not terrible. Okay. Good enough. Good enough. If I can keep this under 27 minutes, I might not have to cut all that much. We're already at 23 now. Hmm. We'll see. I'll probably end up cutting something out. Don't know what yet. being uh, contenders we're not uh, doing all that hot I expected this like three seasons ago whenever I uh, had a 74 and a 75 starting goalie now I have a 79 and a 76 and uh, kind of pooping the brick here Oh, we're finally positive. Well, I guess not if you count the overtime losses. Okay, now we're tied. Looks like we are actually en route for a uh, top five overall pick. Oh, wow. We just won a bunch of games in a row. Oh, we're still going. Let's go, team. I don't know if you can hear the wind from outside coming through my mic. I know sometimes I have, uh, like a static kind of sound. It's, I have covers over my mic. I have a cover over my mic and I have a pop filter, but my Xbox gets super, super loud sometimes and it feeds just enough noise to keep my mic going and it drives me bonkers. Oh man. It's not even like it's that close. It's at least eight feet away from me. So I don't 
like this mic is super sensitive. I've tried turning the settings around and I think I have to get an actual audio program. And to get all that kind of stuff that is just not in the budget right now. Yeah, he's an elite. All right. I was hoping franchise, but there's always that potential later. All righty. So we are going to go ahead and end off here. And we will pick right back up in the next episode. So until then, see you later. And thanks for watching.